Election Day here in the U.S. is coming up, and what better way to celebrate our democratic tradition than with some rousing patriotic tunes? Foremost among these is, of course, the National Anthem, the Star-Spangled Banner, a poem about a major battle of the War of 1812 set to the tune of the Anacreonitic Hymn, which is essentially a British fraternity's theme song. To Anacreon in heaven, where he's at in full glee. Quite a lovely sentiment for the most powerful nation on Earth. Now, the Star-Spangled Banner was not always America's national anthem. Not only were the lyrics written almost 40 years after the Declaration of Independence was signed, the song wasn't even made the official national anthem until March 3, 1931, when Betty White was nine years old. So for roughly two-thirds of American history, there just wasn't a national anthem. Officially, anyway. There were plenty of patriotic songs for people to sing when an anthem was required, the Star-Spangled Banner being one of them. There were a few other popular ones, some of which you've probably heard. One is America the Beautiful. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies. And of course, there's this one. My country tis of thee. Which suffers from being a blatant ripoff of the United Kingdom's national anthem. God save our great. Of course, that didn't stop the tiny nation of Liechtenstein from making its own national anthem. There were also some popular unofficial national anthems that have since been mostly forgotten. For instance, it's quite a nice song, only a little bit spoiled by the fact that A, you've probably never heard of it, and B, that it seems to be not about America, but Colombia. Now, of course, it's not actually about the modern nation of Colombia, with two O's, but rather Colombia, a poetic name for the United States named after Christopher Columbus, and the namesake of things like Columbia University in New York. Like the previous song, there's also a UK version. Virginia, the pride of the ocean. But it's less clear which of the two is the original. The American version was at least published first, in 1843. Though it didn't make the cut as national anthem, Columbia the Gem of the Ocean was, quite appropriately, played during the recovery of the Apollo 11 capsule Columbia from the ocean. Another great American patriotic song of days gone by is Hail Columbia, the tune of which was written for George Washington's inauguration in 1789, and the lyrics of which were written a little later in 1798. It goes like this. Hail Columbia, happy hand. Hail ye heroes, heaven-born band. If you like this song and feel bad that it didn't get to be the national anthem, you'll be happy to hear that it's at least the personal anthem of the Vice President of the United States, kind of like Hail to the Chief's neglected little brother. Speaking of which, Hail to the Chief, the personal anthem of the President of the United States, comes from a stage production of Sir Walter Scott's 1810 narrative poem, The Lady of the Lake. The original lines of the poem went, Hail to the Chief, who in triumph advances, Honored and blessed be the evergreen pine. The presidential version has different lyrics. Hail to the Chief, we have chosen for the nation. Hail to the Chief, we salute him on and all. I guess that makes more sense for the president than an evergreen pine does, but it's much less poetic. So those are some of America's patriotic songs of the past and the present. But what about the future? It's obviously impossible to know what songs yet to be composed will sound like, but there is a notable gap in the patriotic song repertoire. All of the branches of the US military have their own marches. For instance, the army has... The army goes rolling along. And the navy has... Anchors away, my boys, anchors away. Then the Coast Guard has Semper Paratus, the Marines have the Marines Hymn, and the U.S. Air Force has the creatively named the U.S. Air Force. But what about the newest branch of the U.S. military? The, the Space Force! They don't have a permanent official march yet, so maybe we'll be seeing a new patriotic song someday soon. Until then, their official interim march is a segment of John Philip Sousa's march, The Invincible Eagle. It doesn't have any words, but it is public domain, so we can play it as the video ends. And as always, thanks for watching.